the Divine Feminine Podcast, where I am your host, Priestess Hanira Abunu. Here I support women in learning and applying the Divine Feminine Principles into their lives. We talk about lifestyle, family, culture, and spirituality, all from a traditional African perspective. Welcome to the safe space. Welcome everyone to another episode of the Divine Feminine Podcast. The last couple episodes, we've been getting to know one another, or you've been getting to know me. And uh, in this particular episode, I wanted to set the tone um, and start talking about the current state of humanity and the crisis or pandemic that we're going through because that's timely, right? We're going to talk about Corona from a spiritual perspective. And so that's relevant in this particular podcast because here we go over how to prepare you, how to implement the principles of this existence, of this world, the divine principles specifically but how they impact our lives so that we can change ourselves, affect our families and communities. And so with everything going on with Corona and the way the government is moving and the way our planet and our world is responding right now, I think it's timely to speak from a spiritual perspective. And so what I want to start off this podcast in doing is reading for you a message that came from the Kemetic temples in Africa. And this particular message is from, and you say, well, the Kemetic temples, there's still Kemetic temples. I thought that time had come and gone and passed. No, 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 no. There are still families and temples holding the knowledge and have been holding knowledge all this time and they're spread all across West Africa. And so there was a statement released and this statement was not released to the public. However, it was released to the initiates and to the people who are connected to those temples. And I'm one of the people who are connected. And I wanted to share this information with you. And then we'll go through and dissect it. It's important right now for you to know what's going on so that you can be grounded and be stable during this time. So I'll read the entire message and then afterwards I'll kind of highlight some points that I think um, uh, need to be expounded on or elaborated on. So the message starts. Greetings. May this message find you and your family safe sensible and grounded in this turbulent time with just a small virus we are all witnessing the paper tiger of the modern system as it turns on its side and it's in its desperation and lack of knowledge is exposed We are aware that many of you have been anticipating a message from the leadership of the Kemetic Temples. We have taken our time because we are not a political organization and have no interest in pitching in on the emotional hysteria that has followed this illness around the world. We know that our master has initiated us well and the current situation should not surprise us. While still alive, 
Our master, the Makaru, warned his initiates about this, explaining that humanity's values and degeneration to a dangerous level and that his initiates should make sure they are always standing on the principles of the world of the gods and nature's laws. For so long now, our modern world leaders have been trying to challenge the order of the architect of the universe, the gods. And here we are experiencing the consequences of their arrogance. In the Rising Firefly magazine, the Ancestral Spirit column has projected on these coming world issues and provided further details in an important message in most recent series. So this message we send to you now is not a new one. Those of you who visited our temples in Africa may remember the guidance given to us over a year ago where the ancestors and divinities summoned each and every one of us to align ourselves with the principles of nature. This next section I'm about to read is actually from a divination from February of 2018. It reads, The reality of a promising future of our modern society has come to a point where its leaders are going to have to suppress their egotistical lies and fake sentiments of power and evolution to learn how to return to the indigenous, the, the original ways of life of the people they have so-called savages for so long, the third world countries, and they will have to apologize. We are going to give you, our children, words of power. Only those who will know how to apply it well will have protection and benediction of the Mother Nature and her powers. These upcoming years will mark the beginning of the affliction of nature's retaliation due to our new and immature ideologies. The ancestral spirit and divinities are angry. They'll be cleansing what and who have been standing in confrontation with the natural and divine order. And for those of you who will ignore this warning, let this be the first, let us be the first to wish you good luck in managing to pick Mother Nature as your enemy. Temple Divination, February 2018. The letter goes on to state, the current problems chewing our society collectively and individually are a reminder that the part we are playing and we must now face what we've done. As the rest of the world goes into panic, an initiate must remain calm in order to properly adhere to the principles of nature. It is now time to bring our initiation to a practical level. Only those who have just intellectualized the teachings while depending on the modern medical system should be worried. As we have repeated, the Western ways of living offer no more options or solutions to our fundamental survival as human beings on this planet. Once again, the society of laws have proven to be insufficient as the COVID-19 zombifies the supposed civilized societies and its leaders. In witnessing the world's current situation, as our spiritual and cultural leaders, we are not rested knowing that in every corner of the world we have communities, students, initiates, and disciples depending on our guidance and wisdom. 
With such a responsibility, our situation, whether big or small, will lead us to consulting the comedic authorities in the temples. Spiritual works have been executed to ensure the safety and protection of everyone under the authorities of the temples. Furthermore, we encourage all initiates to read the latest series in the Ancestral Spirit column and devote themselves to ancestral wisdom and the natural principles. Living in the world where the spirit of the dead and nature are scoffed at, we encourage everyone to put away their arrogance, their stubbornness, and their pride so that you can properly uphold our ancestral ways and the Makadu's teachings. As a community, we must work together to intelligently navigate the current situations wherever we find ourselves. We strongly encourage all initiates to follow the local laws being imposed by the city or state governments. There is no reason to enter into useless battles against a system of self-destruction. Instead, focus on protecting yourself and your family, utilizing the resources the community offers. The temples recently suggested that the initiates take blood cleanser. Additionally, there are other herbal recipes to boost your immune system. We wish you and everyone reading this strength and divine protection. And that's the end of the letter. And so I just wanted to take time and read that because it gives some insight as to what is seen um, on a spiritual level on the other side and what the priest and spiritual leaders are seeing and turning to. And so I want to offer that to you. Um, there are a couple things that I wanted to, that called out to me and I just wanted to elaborate on. Um, if this is your first time hearing um, any of the readings or teachings, some of it may seem or sound kind of mystic or um, not mystic, but uh, maybe hard to understand. So I wanted to just break some of the things down for you. One of the quotes is, they were talking about humanity's values have degenerated to dangerous levels, right? We see that in every area of existence. Our values system here in the West, we don't, our morals, we don't have a value system. If you listen to the music the teenagers are listening to, if you turn on the TV, and see the reality shows, if you see the way we treat each other, the way we treat our elders, the way we're treating nature, all of those things are showing how our values have degenerated to dangerous levels. And it's saying that during this time, we should be standing on the principles of the world and nature's laws. Those of you who follow me on social media, you know that I've said in many lives and videos that it's time for us to realign ourselves with nature's laws, right? During this time, many people are getting sick. Many unhealthy people are getting sick. Um healthy people are getting sick as well and it's unfortunate and what we have to do in order to survive this time is get in, in alignment with nature's laws we have to clean ourselves during this time I would suggest that we do a detox that we do a fast we cleanse the poisons out of our system 
in the message it was talking about herbal remedies. You guys know I have tonics. I have herbal remedies. These remedies um, come from Africa, from the temples. It is medicinal medicine that has put to, been put together um, by me in a sacred way um, in order to cleanse the blood, boost the immune system, help the lymphatic system, um, and other systems within you to um, make the human being healthy. But you can't take those herbs alone. It is going to be an entire lifestyle change. And it's important that we wrap our minds around that, that during this time, while we're at home, if we're fortunate enough to be at home, we have time to do an entire lifestyle change and align ourselves with nature and to um, move away from the degenerate, dangerous levels of values that we have. There is another comment that stood out. It says, for so long, our modern world leaders have been trying to challenge the order of the architects of the universe. And we are experiencing the consequences of their arrogance. And let's think about that for a second. How in this society, how are we upside down? Where I could name so many ways in which we are, we have challenged the natural architect um, of the divine world, the way we raise our families, even the fact that we, and this is, you know, where bringing in the divine feminine architect comes in. As women, most of us are out of the home. It is only through this COVID-19 pandemic that are we forced to be home and reevaluate and realign ourselves with nature's laws. Otherwise, where would we be? We would be dropping off our children somewhere, and which is our primary responsibility. We would be dropping off our children to be educated somewhere else and we would be running off to the cubicle, to the factories, to the workplace where we put our value and our interest, where we put all of our energy and our intellect and we come home and we're tired and we don't have any energy for our children. That is upside down. That is upside down. We, our diets are upside down. We eat based on convenience. We don't treat or reverence food as if it is holistic or medicine. We treat food, um, we overeat for one and we treat food as if it's um, some pleasure tool. You know, we eat to satisfy. We satisfy all of our cravings. Instead of seeing where the mineral deficiency is, instead of seeing what is my body truly needing, we go straight to what we think we want. We let our eyes satisfy what we want and we go after it with our stomachs. Whether that's the ice cream, whether that's two and three portions, whether that's eating late, whether that's the candy, whether that's all the meat that we over consume. All of those things were upside down. The way we view our family structure, right? There's more men at home than women. We have to look at that. Is that in alignment with nature? There's a lot of women that go into their older years of 
approaching 40s that never have children. Is that in alignment with nature? We have to take a look at that. And now we're being forced in all of our arrogance. I love the way the message reads. It also says the reality of a promising future of our modern society has come to the point where its leaders are going to have to suppress their egotistical lies and fake sentiments of power and evolution to learn how to return to indigenous ways of life of the people that they have called savages for the so-called third world countries and apologize. This is in the middle of happening as we speak. Right now, as everything is evolving, not only are we having to spend more time with family, spend more time with ourselves, getting to know ourselves all over again, but we're having to take a look at everything and we have to get back to a natural way. I'm telling you, I go on my news feed, I'm on social media and everyone's talking about natural remedies to boost their immune system because having a high immune system right now is how you can ward off the COVID-19. And it's more than that. It's being in alignment completely. Yes, you need to clean the toxins out of your blood. Yes, you need to remove the mucus out of your lungs and out of your system. And how do you do that naturally? Now we're looking to nature. We're looking for how nature designed natural remedies, right? Because no one wants to go to the hospital. All of these uh, systems that humanity, that the human being in their ingenuity and, and arrogance have put together, now they're collapsing on itself. That's what this is saying. And we see that they don't have answers. They're scurrying together to try to put together some type of vaccine or medicine to help this, this virus. And it hasn't been tested. We don't know. But we do know nature's rule. And we do know what has helped indigenous people for millennia. We have the herbs. We know what remedies to put together. If you guys don't know, you guys see my page, visit my page. In addition to the herbal remedies, there's also uh, practical things you can put together in your kitchens. Many, many of you have seen them. Um, certain citrus potions or citrus juices you can put together. Um, I'll post them on my page. You guys can read that. In addition to what you've been eating and changing already. But it's saying that this system will have to apologize. Because they've called our forefathers savages. And now you'll have to look to traditions in order to find your way and that's where we all are today we're all trying to find the most natural the most holistic thing that we can I've seen people who don't even uh, eat vegetables and fruits they're you know now they're going to get veggies it wasn't like that a couple weeks ago I'm happy to see this change though and more of it will be happening as we try to heal ourselves and get in alignment with Mother Nature. Get in alignment with 
Mother Nature. It also says, these upcoming years will mark the beginning of the affliction of Mother Nature's retaliation due to our new and immature ideologies. When I read that, I think of all the advancements that we've made in the medical system, all the medicines. There are people out there taking tons of medicine, pills. They have different uh, treatments going on. And these are all man-made. They're not based on nature. Nature knows how to cure every illness that the human being has. They have been for millennia. And here we come with our dialysis machines. And we come with our uh, pills, our bottles of pills. And we say this is the way it has to be. And you take this pill to cure this thing. And because of the side effects of pill one, you now have to take pill two and pill three. That is immature ideologies. We look at our government and the people in place and the moves that they're making. They are all new and immature ideologies. And then listen to the next part. It says the ancestral spirit and the divinities are angry. And why wouldn't they be? Look at how we've treated the planet. Look at how we've treated ourselves. And look at how we've forgotten them. How many of you listening to this podcast knows what the ancestral spirit is. You can probably, through reasoning and analyzing, deduct what the answer is. But most of us have absolutely no clue as to what the ancestral spirit is. And that was done systematically. Systematically, the ancestral spirit was removed from Western society. And what replaced the deities in the ancestral spirit? What replaced it? Religion. And so now, they're angry. Nature is angry. We've mistreated ourselves. We've ignored them. And we've mistreated the planet. It says they'll be cleansing what and who have been standing in confrontation with nature and divine order. So we need to take heed as a people, as humanity. We need to take heed. We need to clean up our attitude, the way we respond, because here it's, it's getting in alignment with nature is, is more than our diets. It's more than exercise. It's more than eating right and having um, uh, an alkaline diet or high vibration. It's our behavior as well. It's our thinking process. It's the way we behave as human beings. The things that we will and won't do. Nature has its laws for that. And we need to be in alignment with that as well. What is our moral code? Many of us don't have a moral code. Why is that? Or we have it until it's challenged. And then when we don't want to adhere to it anymore, or when no one's looking, or when we can't be uh, when we can get get our way out of it or talk our way out of it, 
when we're not challenged, then we modify the rules. But there's no modifying nature's rules. There's no modifying your moral code. When things get tough, there should be a way that you live regardless. Right now is tough times. We're having to reinvent ourselves. We're having to align ourselves with nature. Now is going to be the test of your moral code. Now is going to be the test of who you are as a human being. And many of us will have to ask ourselves, what do I believe? What do I believe is right? And is what I believe, is what I believe is right? Is that really what nature believes? Because in getting in this alignment, it's more than just diet. We're looking at our diet now because that's what is in front of us with the COVID-19. But what the temples and what the divinities and spirit is saying is that it's more than just that. Are we adhering to our destiny? Are you doing the things that you were sent here on mission to do? You guys have heard me in other podcasts talk about how uh, I've gone to West Africa and part of my priesthood initiation, I learned what my destiny was. Well, you know, some of those initiations I was given, some of that knowledge I was given wasn't unique to the priesthood. There was a lot of knowledge that I had to be given because it wasn't given to me here on the West when I was born. There's a lot of knowledge that's actually given to the parents when their child is born. And most of that knowledge, us on the West don't have. And so that causes us to live and spend most of our time, our life, wasting time trying to figure out what we're supposed to be doing and what we're here for, figuring out who am I. That was our last episode. And so in aligning ourselves with nature, we also have to align ourselves with our own destiny and be on task with what we're here for. And so my question is, are you in alignment? Are you in alignment? with nature in that regard outside of diet exercise are you in alignment with your actions with your behavior are you in alignment with fulfilling your destiny do you believe your destiny was to come here and work the job that you're working is that where your gifts and talents are Is that where you're most happiest and and get the most fulfilled? You have to be honest with that. If you're fortunate enough to be home right now, then you should take this time to transform yourself, to really do some good meditations on what makes you happy. Where do you feel most fulfilled? What are your good qualities? Do you know what your good qualities are? Do you know what you're good at? And it may be the simplest of things. But you need to be working in that. And if you start there, they will meet you right there and ask them to open up the door. One of the other things that it says that stood out to me in the letter, it says, and for those of you who will ignore this warning, let us be the first ones to wish you good luck for managing to pick Mother Nature as your enemy. Wow. Who wants to have Mother Nature as their enemy? Who wants to have the earth as their enemy 
Who wants to have the forces of nature working against them? Not me. And so that's what we would be calling on ourselves if we don't align ourselves with nature. Is it in alignment with nature to have addiction? Is that in order or out of order? Many of us today have addictions that we're suffering with. We need to talk about that. Is it in order or out of order? The way our families are set up. Do we want nature on our side? Yeah, we can pick at diet, and diet is a good place to start. But outside of that, are we in alignment or do we have nature as our enemy right now? How do we get closer to nature? How do we get in better alignment with nature? These are all things we're going to be going over in future podcasts. We're going to be going over how to a strategic plan, how we can align ourselves. Things that we can do to align ourselves with nature. As women, as divine feminine beings, trying to implement those archetypes into our lives there's a lot that we can be doing to get our families in order to get our lives in order there's a structure that's been given to us by nature and we have to fit that order and what the deities and spirits are saying is that if you don't fit that order you have made nature your enemy That's not an enemy I want. I don't think that's an enemy you want either. So we can work together in figuring out how to align ourselves. If you want me to work with you individually, you can email me at haneraabunu at gmail or you can Message me on social media. I have no problem with booking life coaching sessions, divinations, to see where you are. And then we start from there because this is a serious time. And you have to take steps to align yourself with nature. It also says, spiritual work has been executed to ensure the safety and protection of everyone under the authority of the temples. This is also important because a lot of Western society isn't covered by temples or covered by churches. And what are the churches saying during this time? Let's think about that. Are they offering any solutions? Where are the pastors during this time? Last time that I checked, there were pastors that were being arrested for still having their services and having people congregate. Last time that I checked, there were pastors giving their people poison, saying that it would cure them. This is crazy. This is nonsense. And those are few and far between. Most of the pastors are quiet right now. Most of the pastors have turned into motivational speakers. Most of the pastors 
don't have a clue as to what is going on or how to remedy it. And they wouldn't. Because they're not stewards of nature. To align ourselves with nature, we must go to our traditional healers. We must go to our traditional priests. We must go to our indigenous ways. To the spiritual people. Not religion, but spiritual. To the people who understand the science of spirituality. Because we understand what time period we're in. And we're grounded and we're ready for, we're ready for today. And it's my job to get you ready. To get you grounded. To get you in a space where you're healthy and you're in alignment with nature. So, message me so we can work together. I'm focused and dedicated to helping you align yourself with nature, to take those steps. And it's wherever you are, you know? You could be a fitness buff, but have absolutely no clue as to what to do spiritually. You could be a dietitian and have a healthy, clean diet, but don't have your family in order. Or there's other aspects that need to be looked at. Or you can be an everyday person and say, you know, I'm new to this, but I'm trying. And I don't have a teacher and I don't know where to start. And if you can just help me, just show me a few things that I can do to get started. I don't want to be on the opposite side of nature. I don't want nature to be my enemy. I want to try to align myself as much as possible to get in tune and in harmony with myself. That may be you. And if that's you, you're probably the most genuine of heart. And I want to work with you. So message me. The last thing I wanted to bring up from the letter that stood out to me, which is important, it goes to our mentality. It says, living in the world where the spirit of the dead and nature are scoffed at, which it is. If you look at the modern medical system versus traditional medicine, it's only here recently that traditional medicine, herbs, herbalist, holistic practitioners have started to be recognized remotely for what we do. It was a lost art. It was scoffed at for many, many years from the modern medical system. It says, we encourage everyone to pull away their arrogance, their stubbornness, and their pride so you can properly uphold the teachings. And we're all going to need to do that. Why? Because we were born in this world. We were born in this Western society that scoffed at nature and scoffed at the world of the dead, and scoffed at the ancestral spirit, and scoffed at our forefathers. And so since we're the product of that, we naturally think we know how things go. We may submit ourselves a little bit, 
And as soon as we think we know something, oh, okay, all I got to do is take some sea moss. <laughs> we take that little bit and then we go and run with it in our colonial way. Oh, okay, all I need to do is have some uh, ginger, some lemon, and some, and some oranges. It says, put away your arrogance. All the things you think you know. So that you can learn to uphold the teachings and be in alignment with nature. And our stubbornness. Right? We'll hold tightly the things that we, that feel comfortable and secure to us. We're stubborn with what we think we know. Why? Because we don't like change. And I tell you right now, there has been a shift. The shift started years ago. For those of you who study the science of astrology, and have been in tune with um, the spiritual world and different temples and things. The shift started years ago, a few years ago, but we're starting to see the manifestation of it now. And we're starting to be forced to acknowledge it, forced to recognize ourselves, forced with our families, forced to take a look at our diet, forced to look at our behavior forced to look at the governments that we put in power forced to put at what we've forced to look at what we've put power over in our lives what have we given power to versus what's really important we're being forced so there's a lot of good things for those of us who are willing to do the work that will come out of the beginnings of this with COVID-19. This is just the beginning. And whether you, whatever your thoughts are as far as the origin, whether it's a symptom to a deeper problem, I'm not going to debate that with you. I know that the new ideologies are turning on themselves whether those new ideologies are 5g radiation whether those new ideologies are bioweapons whether those new ideologies are whatever they are whatever the theories are that's not what this podcast is about what this podcast is about is helping you align yourself first with the principles of existence so that you can affect yourself, change yourself, change your families, and then affect and change your communities. And so I wanted to read those to you because in future podcasts, that will set the tone for how we'll be interacting. However I can assist you in aligning yourself, we're going to be going over the family structure, right? The, the feminine energy, what you govern over what power you have, right? What your responsibility is. What is your role? What is your role? That's important. Was that ever taught to you? Some of us, our role wasn't taught to us. They didn't give us that in school. Matter of fact, in this particular day and age, the agenda that's being pushed is that there is no gender role. Everything is fluid. Everything is androgynous. You can pick what role you are. 
And nature is saying, get in alignment. Now, have we done a good job at, at exaggerating and saying you must be hyper masculine or you may must be hyper uh, feminine? Yes, we have. And I'm not saying that as well. What I'm saying is on a very simple and practical level, we need to do what it is we're called to do to align ourselves with nature. And that starts with knowing our role in existence as divine feminine beings, as feminine beings. What is my duty to myself as a human being? And then as a woman, what are my duties and responsibilities to myself? And then what are my duties and responsibilities to my family? And then how can I branch out into the community? So that'll be what we go over in our next podcast. But for now, I just wanted to leave you with these words. Leave you with the letter that was sent out from the temples in West Africa. Leave you with the wisdoms that come to us from nature and the divinities. Leave you with the warning that we need to make nature our friend. We need to align ourselves with nature and throw out these new ideologies and look to nature in traditional ways for the answers for the answers excuse me during this time i've been your host priestess anira bunu we've had another successful episode of the divine feminine podcast and i look forward to meeting you and greeting you in this safe space next week be well Join me in April in San Diego for a spiritual retreat weekend. Also, in July, we're going to Africa for a spiritual awakening. Get more information on both events at eventbrite.com. To schedule a spiritual reading or life coaching session, please visit the website at divinefeminine.net. Thank you for listening to the Divine Feminine Podcast. Be sure to subscribe, share, and join the conversation on social media. You can find us at 